Well, it may be difficult to see the overlap. In this, I have an overlap of about an inch from here to there. And I have used the dollar side on both of these, which is by design what I want. For, for whatever reason, I may need to separate these two. And when I go to or separate them, I'll use heat. And my objective will be to preserve both sheets of paper. For example, this has a, a window cut out and I might want to preserve this and not destroy everything, but reuse both of these or reuse one of them. So as in my other video, which I'll try to put a link to it, I'm using a release paper and I have a tacking iron which is set to 190 degrees in that range. And these two pieces of paper are joined by a um, piece of dry mount film. I'm going to apply pressure with this tacking iron for one minute to start. So that's been roughly one minute. I want to work while the while the film is warm so now you can still see the dry mount film on this edge here and I want to reuse this so I'm not going to spend time taking this off I might take off if it's you know rolled curled up because then I, I might feel it but <clears throat> if I was to apply more heat I would not put I would not put the tacking iron on there because then the dry mount film will transfer there um, but you can see that this part of it looks rather clean this side on this side it's it's come off completely so one advantage I have found with the dry mount film is it's it's undoable uh, I don't expect it to come apart unless, you know, heat for a significant period of time is applied. But at this point, I feel like if I wanted to clean this off, I could. Or I could reattach some more dry mount film and then attach a new section to the book. So undoing Fusion 4000 dry mount film is very manageable using a tacking iron.